Hello! Um, this is my first YouTube video. Um, it's very weird saying that because I've literally been wanting to start a YouTube channel since I think third grade probably and I never did it. Um, mainly for safety reasons. My mom didn't want me to do it. But, you know, also I didn't want people from school to see it. But at this point, I have like six TikTok accounts, one for each of my like hobbies that I just talk about it. And so I figured at this point, people from school see my TikToks all the time. People, random people see my TikToks all the time. So I might as well just start a YouTube channel because I do kind of struggle with the time constraint um, because I like to talk. So I kind of run out of time when I'm making my TikToks. But uh, yeah, this is my first YouTube video. And this channel, I'm literally gonna post about everything and anything. Um, and this first video is just, I'm just gonna do my makeup and I'm gonna talk about like myself, what I like, what I'm gonna post about, stuff like that. So yeah, I'm gonna get started. Well, I am 17. I am a junior in high school. I live in the United States. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of start with kind of what I wanna do in the future, stuff like that, because something you'll notice is I'm the most type A person you will ever meet in your life, except when it comes to my room. Everything else about my life is so organized. I have everything planned out. I know what's going on at all times. Otherwise, I'll be a crazy anxious mess. But my room always looks like this. I clean it, it gets like this a week later. Who the heck knows? I don't know. Um, I'm gonna start my makeup now though. I'm using First Aid Ultra Repair Cream. Um, I actually think one of my friends gets an Ipsy every month and I took this cause she didn't want it. And I freaking love it. Like I honestly think I'm gonna, oh my God. I think I'm gonna buy the big size because I've really been loving it. So I'm a junior, which means that senior is slowly, slowly encroaching upon me. And so I being myself have everything planned out. Um, at the moment, I've always known that I wanted to go into medicine. At the moment, I'm leaning a lot towards physical therapy or occupational therapy just because they have kind of everything I want. I'm the kind of person where I have to be doing something different every day or I will literally lose my mind. I cannot be like just doing the same thing every day. I have to be meeting new people, all that jazz. So I think physical therapy is like the perfect thing for me, obviously. Things can change and I will try and go with the flow. <laughs> Obviously, when I keep up with this account, you will see all of that jazz. Speaking of careers and jobs, um, I'm currently a barista at Starbucks. I've been working there since August. August 16th is my one year with Starbucks. And honestly, I love my job. You know, like I'm good at my job, which means that I love it. My coworkers are the best, my manager's the best. I really like the fast paced environment because as I said, I need to be doing something and it just makes sense. And I meet lots of new people. Um, it can get very stressful at times, but I am good in stressful situations. I'm good under pressure. And so, yeah, I really love my job. Oh, I lost my beauty blender, so I'm using this one that I literally have not seen in months, but I found it in the back of my makeup drawer. I should probably tell you what I'm using. Um, I'm using NYX. Okay, I lost it as well. <laughs> See, the room, I just can't. I'm using the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. Um, I've really been liking this stuff. I bought it because it was like the lightest foundation or the lightest concealer that I could find in CVS the day before I left for spring break. But honestly, I really like it and I would buy again because it's super cheap and it does a job and that's all I needed to do. What was I talking about? I'll just talk about my favorite musicians because music has always been something that's like really crucial to my life. Like I'm constantly listening to me, constantly listening to music. I always have my AirPods in no matter what I'm doing. I literally listen to music at work. I'm always on aux at work. Like music is huge for me. I feel like my answers are going to be a little basic. You know, I am a big Taylor Swift girly. I'm a big Harry Styles girly. Phoebe Bridgers, love of my life. Love her to death. I also listen to a lot of like random things. I feel like my music taste is really like eclectic. I you would not expect it. Just based on the posters I have on the wall, I love Cigarettes After Sex. I saw them in September. I'm seeing them again in September. I love Pink Floyd. I feel like that's really random. Who else do I like? Oh, I love Post Malone, which is also really random, I feel like, but I, during quarantine, literally listened to Post Malone nonstop for like six months straight. I can 
sang every single song word for word. I can actually like name the song, name a Post Malone song within 10 seconds, probably even five seconds of the beginning of the song. Like I know Post Malone. I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me powder. It's broken, but I also love this stuff. I'm using these powder puffs I got off Amazon because someone on TikTok recommended them. Also love them. You know, we got a lot of good recommendations in this video. Um, another thing that I wrote down to talk about was reading. I'm a big reader. I love reading. As you can see by the bookshelf, that's only one of two. But I have a TikTok for my reading, but I honestly have not been... I've been horrible about posting on it. So... You know, not a lot of followers, but you know, that's not why I do this. I honestly just like talking about my life and like sharing things that I enjoy and talking about them. That's the theme here. I love to talk, but yeah, so I love to read. Um, I'm really big on fantasy. Like that would have to be my favorite genre by far. I read the most fantasy, probably 90% of my bookshelf is fantasy. So if you have any recommendations, let me know. Um, and I'll definitely be posting about books because it's like my one personality trait other than like Phoebe Bridgers. So I'm using my chubby stick from Clinique. Um, I got recommended this by the worker at Ulta and I love it. Oh God, this isn't making me look too good. The way I just placed this. Okay, well, oh, my biggest fears. Um, they're all kind of similar. I have like a deathly fear of being kidnapped. Um, when I was younger, we had to nail my window shut because I was so scared that someone was going to come in and kidnap me in the middle of the night. Um, they're not nailed shut anymore, but I still carry that same fear. And similarly, I have a deathly fear of being human trafficked, stalked, all that jazz. I can't really talk while I do this, so I'll be back, I guess. I did not place that correctly at all, but you know, it's just one of those days. <laughs> oh, while we're talking about music um, and like concerts and stuff, I've seen Cigarettes After Sex once. I'm seeing them again. I saw Harry Styles when he was at Madison Square Garden. Um, I saw Taylor very recently and it was amazing. Phoebe opened. It was like the best day of my life. Is that it? I did not see Post Malone because I forget why. Oh, the tickets were just like crazy expensive. I mean, I can't talk. I saw Taylor but and Harry, but I just couldn't bring myself to spend that much on his tickets. Um, speaking of TikToks, so I have a TikTok for my reading. I have a TikTok for time lapses. I am a huge fan of making time lapses while I study and then I post them on my time lapse account and also don't have many followers, also don't care. I make them while I study. I make them at work sometimes. I make them in my art class. Um, next year I'm taking AP 3D art, which is basically just ceramics, woodworking, metalworking. Stuff like that. Um, I've taken 3D art all throughout high school. This contour looks so questionable. This is, I'm going to put more concealer on to try and fix this contour because this is not a very good representation. As far as college goes, I really want to stay on the East Coast, um, mainly because I, my mother is my best friend. Um, I have amazing friends, but my mom tops everyone. She is like my favorite person in the world. Um, I talk to her 24 seven. I can't even go like a week being on vacation without her. I would literally crumple. So I really wanna stay on the East Coast so I can be close to her. Um, hopefully staying in the state, but you know, however, however things fall out, that's what will happen. Funny story, I actually did make a YouTube channel a couple years ago in like, seventh grade um I posted a like school vlog of like me at school with my friends and then I took it it didn't even stay up for 24 hours because everyone was watching it during school and I was terrified that I was gonna get in trouble for like filming at school and then posting it on social media so I took it down um but I will definitely be doing a lot more of those. Um, I think they're really fun. And as long as I don't have like other people's face in them 
for like teacher spaces or show our school i think it should be fine and obviously if my school asks me to take it down i will i'm very involved in my school that's another topic we can talk about i'm on like the board of like four clubs am i three clubs i'm also in student government our elections for next year are coming but i'm hoping that i stay on student government um I don't really know why I wouldn't, but you never know. Next year, I am the president of our, my school's Spanish club. I love Spanish. I am planning on continuing my Spanish education into college and hopefully one day being fluent. I also, oh God, my eyebrows, every time I do them with this uh, benefit brow, they just look so messed up and then I have to fix them. So you just gotta give it a chance and then it will fix itself, but see like every time that happens i would love to study abroad in hopefully spain barcelona something like that in college um that's also a big factor in my school decision you know study abroad programs because that's something i'm definitely very interested in similarly i'm doing well hopefully i have to get picked but again I'm hoping I get picked, so I'm just gonna talk about it as if I already got picked, you know, manifestation. I'm doing my school's British exchange program, so I'm gonna have someone from the UK come over and live with me for a week or two. I'm not really sure how long it is. Dude, there's like a gap in my eyebrow and I don't know why, and every time I do them, I see it and I'm so confused, but I'm just gonna leave it because nothing works. But someone from the UK is gonna come live with me for two weeks and then I'm gonna go there for two weeks and I'm really excited because uh, it was between British exchange or Spanish exchange and I decided that like I'm definitely going to do study abroad and go somewhere Spanish speaking in college that is like bothering me so bad. So I'm the president of Spanish club next year. I'm on the board of my school's mini thon which is basically just a high school version of Penn State's thon to raise money for pediatric cancer through the Four Diamonds Fund. Uh, love that. It's been a very gratifying experience. Um, I was on the board this year and hopefully next year. I'm on the board of my school's National Honor Society. I'm our secretary. Oh, I forgot to say, literally one of the biggest things in my life. Um, I'm a dancer. I've been a dancer since third grade. Um, I kind of took a step back from it this year just because, you know, junior year, um, I got my job right before the school year, so I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to manage all of that, plus all my commitments that I just talked about. So I kind of took a step back, but senior year, I'm definitely planning to go back to full-time. You know, I've been doing it for so long. I've been in my studio's rep company and hip-hop company, which are basically like, we don't do competition, um, but we perform at a lot of like community events, stuff like that. I've been in my studio's companies since fourth grade, so it'd be really a shame not to do them for my senior year, so I'm definitely gonna go back to those, even if I'm swamped with work. I think it's worth it to me. But yeah, I do everything I do. Jazz, hip-hop, tap, ballet, lyrical, all of the different things. Jazz. Very well-rounded over here. Just to preface this, um, I'm planning on posting a lot of, like, really old trends on YouTube, like, what's in my backpack, hauls, stuff like that, just because when I wanted to start a YouTube channel in, like, third grade, that's what was trending, and, like, it's my dream to post those because I've been wanting to since then, so don't be surprised when you see trends from, like, 2015 on here. I realized that I, like, didn't show you guys any of the stuff I was using, so I'm gonna go back and do that. Um, blush, I use Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm. Mascara, I use Better Than Sex and L'Oreal Telescopic. And for my lips, I use the Laneige Lip Mask because Alex Earl did it. And here we are. But hopefully I'll be posting on here. So this was kind of just an intro because I didn't want to just like get into videos without like introducing myself, even though my only subscribers are probably gonna be my friends for the first like million years but you know that's okay because i don't really care so yeah if you even see this thanks for watching